Alright, so today we're going to look at a denial of service. Uh, these type of attacks uh, are used to deny service. Uh, honestly, it's that simple. So, the way a typical connection works between uh, different internet sites and services, you have your server and your client initiates a connection. Now this this connection is known as the SIN. Um, you might have heard SIN, ACK, FIN. This is the SIN. So this is where the computer actually in initiates the connection. The ACK is where the server acknowledges and you're doing your browsing and uploading your pictures, etc. Whatever you typically do in that session. And then the computer says I'm finished. Well, Multiple computers can do this, and they can do it at the same time. Different sessions are initiated, and you know, everything typically goes pretty smooth. Well, in a denial of service, what if a computer never actually hangs up this connection? So you got your server, your computer doing its typical SYNAC session, uh, it continuously connects does its typical thing, you know, think media sharing. So you're on Netflix, you're connecting up to the Netflix server, it's continuously sharing down video, the computer says, hey, I'm still here, keep playing my movie, I want to keep watching. Well, what if you have another computer doing that? And it does it repeatedly, and it keeps doing it. So this computer is basically denying service. Well, <laughs> a denial of service doesn't do much. I mean, you've got two computers talking to the same server. This happens all the time. Heck, most, uh, most servers have, on average, 100 to 1,000 things talking to them at once. So that doesn't do much. Well, what if you were to distribute this? So you don't just have one server. You have hundreds, you have thousands, and all of these servers are initiating the connection. The server is acknowledging the connection to keep it open, but they're never doing the fin. They're never hanging up the phone. They're keeping this call open. Well, one connection the server can support. A hundred connections the server can support it might start to slow down a little bit. A thousand connections the server thinks all those sessions are still open and it's going to keep thinking they're still open until they either time out or the computers hang up the phone. So what happens to your server? That. Your server dies. Um, this is how we typically view denial of services today. This is called the distributed denial of service because as you can see it's distributed along all these computers. It's not just one doing it, it's several. Uh, you can see this automated through botnets all the time. Um, in fact, there are uh, tools that Anonymous and some other organizations have organized where you don't even have to be skillful about this. You just install the application, click a button, and your computer does the denial of service. Well, they coordinate this. Thousands of people do this at once, and you can take down entire websites. So how do you stop this? Um, honestly, you can't, but you can try to improve your infrastructure. Uh, you can try to increase your bandwidth, get more RAM, network cards, CPU for your server. You can filter your traffic through a firewall or an IDS. Um, again. It's a distributed denial of service, so you could deny different connections from different IPs. But typically those things are going to happen so fast that, yeah, you could deny one or two IPs, but hundreds more are connecting every second. Um, you can purchase a service to actually do this. Um, through your firewalls and IDS, you can monitor your traffic in real time. You can learn large increases in traffic. But there are services like Cloudflare that guard against this type of thing. Um, their sole business model is to stop denial of service. 
Whether they succeed or not, that's another story. But they definitely help. I mean, if you can offload traffic to more servers than you typically have access to, that could definitely help. Um, some web hosts even provide their own packages or their own uh, integrations with Cloudflare and other services like them. Um, I think there are even some Azure and AWS services that actually integrate pretty well with Cloudflare. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are Microsoft or AWS, uh, Azure or AWS, uh, which has their own typical services like that to guard against denial of service on their side. So for further information, um, you can go to Tiso's primer on DDoS. Uh, it's a pretty good primer. I used it to prepare for some of this video. Um, US CERT also has a guide. Uh, CERT is their cyber emergency response team. Um, they've got a lot of good information on this. Uh, STO4-015 is what you're looking for specifically here.